how dangerous is it to have unprocessed stress? I mean, we all talk about unprocessed foods and and all that stuff when it comes to nutrition and health and and all that stuff, you know, as far as keeping the body in a, in a, in a better uh, condition. But I think none of us have learned about the dangers of unprocessed stress, you know? And what do I mean by that, you know? Um, you know, they're, 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 the myth is that there is a stress-free life out there and that's just a total lie, deception. Uh, it's, it's just crazy that people would, would even think to believe that in our society today, you know? Um, but the other problem is, is that people seem to think that all stress is bad, you know? Um, and that's not the case either. Um, stress is actually good for us because it helps us strengthen our mind, body, and spirit. When we process it, when we learn to work through it, when we learn to manage it and understand it, you know, but often in our society, we've made burnout the dysfunctional norm. We've made feeling overwhelmed, full of anxiety, uh, 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 struggling with, with just depression and anger and frustration business as usual, part of our, our, our daily lifestyle. Um, we get up in the morning and, and, and take a couple, uh, couple scoops of stress with our coffee and we don't do anything about it. We just accumulate it more and more and more as time goes on, you know? So when I'm talking to people that, um, are getting up there in age <laughs> and, and they talk to me about how they don't understand why things are falling apart, why things are breaking down, why they're losing patience quicker and they're getting sicker faster and they just can't seem to handle life like they used to when they were younger. And, 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 and what I tell them, I say, look, you got to understand, you know, when you're younger, you don't have all of those toxins from life not being fair, from disappointments, from setbacks, from from physical ailments to heartbreak to to cancer to broken bones, bruises, or betrayals. You don't have that yet because you're young, you're fresh out the gate. This is how we become jaded. So when you become an, an old head like me, and and you've gone through something, something several something somethings <laughs> whether it's people places or things you've accumulated negative toxins and radicals in your body mind and spirit and there is a limit to how much our body how much this 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 frame can absorb and take and contain and so when we start to hit those limits, when we start to hit those levels, things start to break down and that can show up in the form of extreme anxiety, uh, 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 level 10 depression, um, rage and anger that just comes out of nowhere. Feelings of despair where you don't think you can handle anything. And that can lead to addictions, to alcoholism, to 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 getting fired from your job because you're showing up late to you know just i mean even even suicidal thoughts and all this is connected to extreme levels of unprocessed stress and so in order to deal with that in order to learn how to manage that how to to process that we have to learn how to adopt a healthier lifestyle and I know y'all hear me talk about this all the time, but I'm not going to stop. But I, I, I'm starting to recognize how difficult the battle is 
for us to turn things around when we have been conditioned to be negative. We've been conditioned to be overwhelmed. We've been conditioned to just treat symptoms and not deal with root, root issues. We're so busy trying to look pretty that we're not paying attention to the ugliness on the inside that is destroying us. And so when I talk about, you know, simple stuff like drinking more water, eating vegetables, going to the gym, you know, going to the beach, going to counseling, talking to your pastor, getting a hug from grandma, doing volunteer work. When I talk about all these things, people, because they've been conditioned by our sick society, will say, I don't have time. I don't have money. I don't have the resources. And that is absolutely true. You don't. You don't have time because you have packed your schedule with dysfunction. You've packed your schedule with priorities that aren't priorities. And I know that steps on a lot of toes, but here's the real deal, okay? If you don't treat yourself like a priority, everything else that you're calling a priority is gonna fall apart. And that's the real truth. And some of us have gotten to the point where we see the, the, the cliff that we're heading towards, but because we build up so much momentum with the way we are and the way we think and the way we see things, our, our whole environment is has become chaotic, dysfunctional, crazy, crazy that it is actually more painful for us to turn that thing around than for us to just implode. But I'm here to tell you that it is not too late. It is not too late to turn things around. It is not too late to start learning how to have a better life because you deserve a better life. I mean, I'm here at 54 reworking everything in my my life, my situation, my goals, my dreams because I'm not ready to give up yet. And for those of you who who want more, hit me up. Talk to me, reach out. I will I promise you. I will try to help to the best of my ability. But let, let me let's let's get it straight, okay? There 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 is an investment in you recovering your dreams, and this is not a plug for me and my counseling, you know, because um, y'all you look look if for those who are close to me know how many people I actually see pro bono, but this is an investment you have to be willing to make for yourself. To prove to yourself that you're worth it. Okay? Think about it. I love you guys.